What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, we're gonna check out when wrestling companies insult WWE and their wrestlers. This should be a uh, good video, man. Appreciate all the love and support you guys have been showing on the channel, man. And let's get right into this one. Roll 200k. Let's do it. And you dig it, dig it, dig it sucker. sucker. Hey, look, guys, I know you guys are, like, watching the match, you know, but, like, for television purposes, just trust me. I've done this a long time. Turn okay. this way. It works for television purposes. It's really good. Okay. Watch huh. the monitor, they, they get a good profile oh shot. You know. You're right. Let's oh, it. bro, that, that, that is a, 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 a pip, like a weird thing that WWE does. They'll just have them standing right here looking at the TV. Normally, people just looking at it. They turn their body towards the TV. It works well. Trust me. No, no. We're not going to use celebrity guest hosts every week on this show. Ah. The dumbest damn idea I've ever heard. Jerry Lawler and Jim Cornette invaded the ECW. And Sabu and Van Dam, they're with them. The Monday evening, I'm sitting home watching TV that WWF. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Vince. From me to you, man to p while you sit in your big, fat, lavish office. With all your jabronis kissing your fat ass. <laughs> ask him, Vince. Ask Van Dam. Ask him what I am. Beat me if you can. Survive if I let you. Because the competition. Taz is so great on the microphone, bro. And good in the ring. Sometimes doesn't want to hear their fan. We love professional wrestling that you will not see on the other channel. You will not see legends who are respected on the other channel. Enjoy your blood money. Maybe next week, AEW Dynamite can run in Saudi Arabia. Oh. For six and a half years on the independent scene. Busted my ass so that I could secure a job with a major wrestling company. I achieved that dream after six and a half years. I achieved that dream. I got hired over there. At first, I had a rocket ship up my ass. And then... Oh, oh yeah, Mr. Kennedy, bro, he... Bro, he was the next guy. They were shooting him to the moon, bro. Little birdie got inside the boss's head. Mm -hmm. I think, uh, I think Kenny might be a little too funny. Yeah, I, don't, I don't think he's ready for it. All this stuff that you see right here, I was told not to do. I was told how to walk, how to talk, how to freaking dress. Hey, I was told that I couldn't even chew gum on the way to the rink. <laughs> they would get tested again here in AEW because John, as you know, we don't run a sloppy shop. Christian mm. dusted off the cobwebs. He used to be cool, but only when he had an edge. Yep. Hey, seen yo, this clip. You tripping? Climb to the top. What's that? <laughs> That's ridiculous. Yeah, here we go. Ah, uh, the shield bump. Uh, mm -hmm. Come on. It doesn't matter the shield bump. how elite you are. It doesn't matter if you're the boss, the man, a king, the queen. I've lost to Brian. I've lost to <laughs> Punk. But you know what happened? I'm that fan fest. Give me a second for real. Show some respect. Seriously, my man, you know, Steve Austin ain't here. Dog, relax. <laughs> But yeah, we've seen this clip before as well. Look at this div. There are only two subscription WWE Network and Pornhub Premium. <laughs> I think we've seen this clip as well. Uh, I think it was on the either the road page or the main page. You see. What's standing here before you is not some silly gang of angry rookies. <laughs> wow. In the seats, y'all are less popular than Glenn Jacobs' tweets. Facts. <laughs> On this microphone, classic. in that ring, even at commentary, classic, nobody classic. can touch me. Classic, and on classic. this mic and in this ring, even at commentary, nobody can touch me. You bobble-headed, ugly-ass, less talented version of Paul Heyman. Oh, oh, wow. I actually prefer Jim Cornette. 
I'm not scared of you, mister. Why would I be scared of one of Bobby Lashley's sisters? Wow. End up there in the ring, and you, you look at him like you realize maybe this is what they Oh, wow. What looked like a pedigree. Oh, wow. Setting up for the super. I'm going to put you in the poverty, dog, because I ain't careers quicker than your father in law. Oh my god. Bro. <laughs> you have been cerebral assassins and electrifying men. Mm. And superstars who are rated R. You've beaten dead men and immortals and hell. Guys you can't even see. Uh. No, see the socks! I love it. We make the ass boys retire like Vince McMahon. Classic one, that was a good one. John Moxley is the third best guy. This one was in a good one too. Group. This one was a good that one. Seems to be a reoccurring theme in his career. Oh my God! Look bro. at me, old man. And the best there ever will actually scratch that. That catchphrase sucks. Before the last, before the last name that you have to take is Johnny Two Hundred Five. Got oh. more people hearing me than January Six. Honestly, I had something to say, but somebody made me sign an NDA. <laughs> Even the man with three H's would be proud of the way we buried this young promise. Bro, <laughs> you see what they did there? Buried, because Triple H was kind of known at one point for burying people. Some talent. And take that brass ring and shove it up your ass. <laughs> we the John Cena guys, that's so petty. But we John Cena, the young bucks, Genetti. Oh, honest, that, that was actually, a, boys don't understand, that was actually a, that was a cold bar. That was actually a legit cold bar, bro. We got to run that back. That was a legit cold bar, bro. That was a, that was nice. We the John Cena guys, that's so petty. But we John Cena. The young bucks Bro, honest, that was a man, cold ball. What would you be doing if there was no AEW? Oh, I know. You'd probably be jerking the curtain tonight at the performance center. Oh! Sledgehammer and all. Are you serious? Yeah. Mafia. I believe they. Oh! Done pretty good job of getting the man. For those of you scoring at home. Reality TV. Okay, we had a little fun. Now we're going to get serious. Fighter in the world today. Okay, hold on. We the people sucks and it's dead and buried. <laughs> it was a stupid idea from bad creative and all that's gone. And I'm sure I am not allowed to say his name. I thought that tactical vest was just covering up failed drug tests. Oh! Vince McMahon came knocking at my door. I told Vince McMahon, you can kiss my ass. You don't take that shirt off. I'm not going to take it off you. They are. This is such a rogue moment in ECW. They made him take their Raw is War shirt off. Take that shit off and we're going to take it off for you. The network has never put out one freaking commercial or one press release to let you know that we're here. The network is going to give $100 million to Vince McMahon like he needs it to replace us. We're not a publicly funded company like Vince McMahon. This is a good WCW. promo segment do a shoot. as well this, from, promo, friends, uh, from Paul. A shoot. I'm not a sports entertainer, Chris. This is a wrestling company, not a sports entertainment company. My man, go down the block. Except I guarantee that this sports entertainment will actually be entertaining because This little thing, this little thing on your chinny chin chin here I am the one who made this fashionably cool before anyone else did Really? And I am the one who should be receiving big fat royalty checks from all of those people who are blatantly ripping Oh, the whole beard thing. Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> I mean, a guy can just grow a beard. I grew a beard. 
you weren't part of that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Do you really want to have a wrestling match? Because I promise you, it's going to last as long as your Intercontinental Championship run. Oh, my God. You're nothing but a Mid Carter. Oh, man. You should change your name to Mid Cardona. Card Mid Cardona. You have the audacity to call yourself the runaway. You didn't run away from anything. You got fired. Oh, my God. <laughs> it was the best damn thing to ever happen to me. He's just a less famous Miz. Classic, classic burn right here. You might as well be coming out here preaching hustle, hustle loyalty, loyalty, and respect. And respect. The only way you're going to be number one is if we all wait around long enough for Tony to have a daughter that you marry. That was such a fucking sick <laughs> It's absolutely the biggest athlete in professional wrestling. Paul White! No doubt about it. No more BS. Wow. Carrying the flag of the World Wrestling Federation. Wow. A world class here at this sold out ECW Arena. Remember, Ted Pass. Oh my God. I just. Bro, this crowd just. Just lit right now, bro. Look at this. That was cool, man. That part, that ECW back then, they were different. That that just just a different environment, different feel, different crowd. <laughs> that was just a whole different era of wrestling, man. I I love so many. I actually love all these clips, bro. A lot of these we have seen before. Um, but yeah, man. People have had their gripes with WWE. Sometimes things didn't go the way planned. Some people released, fired, and you know they may hold grudges. You know we don't know exactly what goes on all the time behind the scenes. So you'd be surprised what people have had to deal with or whatnot. But at the end of the day, man, we're all wrestling fans, so we all want whatever show that we're watching to be good and entertaining you feel me and you can live and coexist with someone liking one brand over the other i watch both you know what i'm saying i don't have to choose one over the other certain things i like on wwe uh you know and there's certain things i don't like on wwe and vice versa with aew so it's all about personal preference but we can all coexist man but appreciate all love and support you guys have been showing on the channel man road to 100k appreciate y'all kicking with me see you on the next one